Hey you, Meow guys are coming at you today with a guide to Zaheer. If you're just here for the gameplay, make sure to check out the description below for a timestamp to let you jump straight to the gameplay. Zaheer, for the most part, is a very straightforward character. He has an interesting gimmick where he kind of punishes people for playing the game. His first skill is a passive called Damnation, and it's cooldown in 7 seconds, so every 7 seconds your next normal attack will inflict skill damage uh, equal to your enemy player kills times 4 plus the enemy's uh, animal kills times one. It says my animal kills and my player kills. They actually removed this in a recent patch, but uh, they actually forgot to update the text. I actually sent in a bug report, so hopefully this gets fixed soon. His second skill is Eye of Azrael, and this is kind of what's made him known as the corpse looter. And basically, every 60 seconds, he can mark every corpse on the map. That, well, player corpse, not animal corpses and he gains the eyes of the heart effect for 20 seconds and that makes it so that you are 100% more likely to find a corpse when searching an area. Only player corpses though. I tested this on animals and wickline corpse. It doesn't work on them. Uh, this effect disappears the moment that you find a player corpse. So basically with his kit, he plays very normally at the start of the game and he starts deviating a lot the moment that the first kill on the map happens because of the way that his skills work, he deals increased damage to players that are getting killed. So when the first kill on the map happens, he marks that corpse and he goes straight there and contests them off the corpse to try to accelerate his armor. Because of this, uh, rushing your purple weapon early is very important so that you're actually able to force them off the corpse. Another neat thing that you can do, because of how Eye of Azrael works and how corpse chance works, there's a 30% chance of discovering a corpse you haven't discovered before. So if you know where the corpse is, you don't want to press this button immediately. You just want to go straight there, contest the guy off the corpse, find the corpse to use up that 30% chance, take whatever you want. If there is something else on the corpse you want, you can activate this ability to basically double dip on that corpse. You should be paying attention to corpses that you want. That way, you every time that your skill is up, you can go back there. Another thing to keep in mind is that if it's like super early in game, like I would say maybe 10 seconds into the game and someone dies, I would not actually go for that corpse, mostly because it's nothing valuable. I'm just wasting HP by doing that fight. If it's that early in the game, the best thing to do is just press the ability so that you know where the corpse is and so that when the next kill happens, you can ignore the first corpse and you can go straight for the more valuable one. Zaheer does require extensive knowledge of various things you can craft because a lot of times you will be starting a build and then halfway through you pick up something good off of somebody's corpse and then that ends up what you you need to build instead so being able to be flexible with your armor is very important on this character he doesn't really have any item synergies in particular he does like things that give him an early game power boost but that's just about it even like uh, items like Uchiwa, you don't force. You only build it if you like find it off of a corpse or something. But it's just something to be aware of. Other than that, this character has really high stats. And as the game progresses, he punishes people for having good animal control and getting player kills. So for the most part in most games, as long as you're maintaining your mastery, you're always in the game on this character. He's very strong and probably one of the best throw characters. I want to say Adriana and Emma are very similar in power level. With that out of the way, let's get into it. Is this a here? This is a here. You don't recognize his glowing eyes? I have Windbreaker already, which is really good. Blown, blasted to death by Mr. Meiji. Where's the thing I need? What? What is this? There it is. All right.
Come on. Give me the oranges. Give me the oranges. Come on, there's two of them. Don't do me like this. There it is. All right, cool. YB, how's it going? Good to see you. I'm surviving. We got one Sylvia win. And Sylvia, I already have a guide for, so that's a thing. Cry doesn't seem far. Oh my god, you're already beat? Uh, I don't need this. How long do you want to do this for, dude? Is this really worth it for you? Bro! I would like to request Adela Bless. Bless. I love her. Sure, we can do Adela. Bless. Alright, we are stupidly strong. Come on, man. Yeah, that's right. Let's not do this, please. I have so much food. You don't even know. Take these and leave. Yo, these guys do not let up today. Hope I 
can have this for free. Awesome. All right, we're making something happen. here have something good for me. Yeah, definitely just take that. This works. And stone. And then I want to find that Kiara corpse. Yo, what my dude! This lobby. <laughs> and I need to figure out more food. <laughs> more food. Uh, more weapons. That might be a little painful. He already has the Dharma at shock runs. Gotta make a new weapon. How do I do this? There is a corpse here. Back here later. Probably making two sets. Two sets should be enough to last me the rest of the game, right? I mean, we'll make more sets if we can. Just to hear things, just letting other people make your build for you is fine. I see. This changes everything. Okay, cool. I need a battery. Chapel stay open. Just give me that battery. 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 There it is. Awesome. Stone. I just need iron ore. Iron ore. There it is. Awesome. There's a corpse here. Hello. Why would you ever leave this here? Excuse me. 
Excuse me. Now I can't leave. Oh wait, no, they died to restricted. That's right. We're not well we I think we can leave then. Please leave. Hmm. What does he need there? I don't know. Maybe he's just fighting me for the sake of fighting me. Can I have this now? Oh my God. Please leave. Just to hear things. Oh my God! Please don't fight me. Please give me what I need. I need that Sharanga. Give me that CD. Come on. Come on. Why? I know he'll fight me. That's why I gotta leave. Oh my god, go away! Give me a CD. Give it to me. Come on. Please give me a CD. Sure, whatever. Come on. Gotta be a CD. Nice! Oh my god. We did it, boys! Just to hear things. Hear things. <laughs> uh. Actually, that's not better. I value the damage more. I need to close out the game. Okay. So, uh, eight times turtle soup. How about that? Can I just rest at this point? Nah, full gold is actively worse at this point. Why? We only have 36 weapons. We gotta make sure the game's closed out. I heard turtle soup is really smelly. I don't know if that's true, but that's what I heard. I'm 
gonna grab some extra weapons. Not like permanent weapons, but like weapons to switch over to when I'm farming animals. There they are. I was resting. Leave me alone. We have some pylums. I'd like a second one, please. Guess not. I don't think there's any left. Uh, I just tried to unequip that. <laughs> anything good? That is the question. Um. Does. Nothing else, right? I think there's a moonstone here. It's not that good. I mean, it's more damage, right? We want more damage. Am I allowed to heal this? No, I'm not. Well, I'm SS now. So that's cool, I guess. Need to heal this. 300 stat attack. Seems good. Go away! Oh my god. Guy's not worth killing. Hey, Wu Duck. <laughs> it's not a pacifist skill at all. It doesn't care how many kills you get at all. They changed it. He just punishes people for playing the game. That's all he does. He doesn't have to play any differently. Hey. <laughs> well, that's a build. <laughs> 